Finally, back home in beautiful Evergreen. <laughs> Harbor? What happened to this place? Do they actually like living like this? You go to university for a few years and the whole town falls in love with trash. <laughs> okay, that's happening. They may be okay with it, but I know we can do better. I just have to show them how. First step, reduce my eco-footprint. Solar panels, wind turbines, a few more updates and I'm off the grid. Feels better already. Now the hard part, getting my neighbors to want a cleaner, more sustainable city too. Fortunately, my buddy Knox is a real advocate for the eco lifestyle. Rude flex, I know, but go with it. He's done some great work pushing neighborhood action plans, like a water shutoff day. He's a little hard on you if you don't participate though. Sorry, Diane. Knox is campaigning to change this barren lot into a community garden. He's got big dreams of growing sustainable food, like vertical gardens that take less space to grow more, or harvesting insects for a crunchy alternative to meat. But it's not up to him. It's up to the people. And it looks like they voted for... a community makerspace. Eh, he'll get over it. A makerspace is great. We don't have to throw away everything just because we don't want it anymore. Upcycle it. I love me some homegrown, ultra-organic, fresh farm to table fizzy juice. And these hand-dipped artisan candles are selling faster than they burn. All these makers have gotten the attention of the local entrepreneur, Bess. She's asking others to invest in her next big venture. Bess works from home as a civil designer. She invents products that help move the world toward a brighter future. She recycles found objects for parts and then uses this awesome fabricator to make them. This thing is fire! I gotta try it! Maybe I'll leave that part to Bess. Her inventions are going to make this community a beacon of sustainability. Big changes can start small. With just a little effort, you can impact your world too.